and I really wanted to create a course and I started creating it and then I came across Tony and uh, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi's uh, course where they tell you in that course how to create your own course and honestly it was let's say five hours six hour course but it saved me so much time because I could just take the knowledge from them I can take all the frameworks and blueprints and already knowing the things that do work and just implement it in my own course instead of figuring it all out by trial and error Welcome everyone to Lapis Lisa podcast. Our mission at Lapis Lisa is to share people's stories and the challenges that they have overcome so that those who are listening in can get the strength, the courage and the hope to be their better selves. And today we have a special edition episode. Welcome to the special edition episode. And today I wanted to talk to you about one of the most thought-provoking ideas that I've ever heard and I heard this one from Alex Hormozzi and I've been listening to him quite a lot. He is basically the person who managed to go from being broke and sleeping on the floor in the gym at tw when he was in his mid to early 20s to being a millionaire in his early 30s. He has learned lots of lessons and he is sharing it with people out there. His contact is incredible and very thought-provoking. And I wanted to share the idea that just stuck with me so much. And I think it's one of the most incredible ideas. So let me share the idea itself because I keep saying how awesome the idea is. The idea is that the highest tax that we ever pay in life, it is on ignorance. The reason you're not making $1 million or I'm not making $1 million a year at this very moment is because I don't know how to get that $1 million a year. I'm ignorant about that. I don't have that knowledge. And we have to start paying it off, the, our debt on ignorance, our tax on ignorance, and we need to start paying it off as soon as possible by actually getting that knowledge. So also they were asked, uh, Alex and his wife, they were asked, so what are some of the biggest mistakes that people who try to go from zero to 10K uh, a month, what, what are some of the co most common mistakes that they make? And they said, they just don't know what the hell they're doing. And that's why they're eating an orange as if it's an apple. They're making so many mistakes. And that's why it's so crucial to start buying books, buying courses, learning from people who have already experienced it and they can teach you so that you basically, with the money that you pay for your, that course to get that, uh, to get that knowledge or you pay for a mastermind that you attend, you're basically reducing the amount of your tax on ignorance that's stopping you from your full potential. And there's literally such thing as not having the debt paid off and that's why you're not you cannot just create your profitable business do that sale create launch a successful marketing campaign or whatever you want to do in life even if it is trying to get in the best shape of your life if you literally don't know how to get in your best shape of your life it will take you ages to figure out what kind of workouts work for you what kind of food works for you etc and how to actually achieve those results and that comes to actually to the second point of, of it, that it's so interesting how you can actually spend your own time and figure it out. Okay, how do I get in the best shape of my life? You can try different workouts, you can try different foods and see just what works and just try do it with trial and error, with also, which requires a lot of discipline, hard work, consistency. Or you can buy time by actually buying or investing in a coach, investing in buy, buying a course, buying a book, joining a mastermind course, where they will tell you that knowledge. The, call, the coach who has already had like 10 years of experience, they can look at you, do some tests and say, okay, this is, this is the program that you need to follow. And then you bought time because instead of spending your time figuring out what would work for you or what wouldn't work for you, you actually just got that knowledge and you can already start implementing. And this idea has, has been just so revolutionary in my mind because it's so funny how many people say, okay, I'll get a coach when 
I get healthier, I'll get a coach. But it's so funny how you do need to first get the coach because then and then you'll get healthier. But many people just like do it in reverse order. And it's so funny because I, I catch myself doing that as well. It's like, oh, I'll save more money when I'm more rich without realizing that I need to save money to become rich. I need to make that investment. I need to start, I need to, to start doing the action that will actually lead to that result. So you cannot say like, I'm not gonna buy that course that will tell me how to make more money. I will buy it when I have more money. The conundrum here is that you need more money <laughs> you, to get more money. You need to first invest that money in that course. You need to start paying off the debt on ignorance. How crazy is that? I feel like nobody tells us uh, that we have, we're paying that tax on ignorance. Lots of people tell us the income tax, the property tax, blah, blah, blah. But nobody talks about the tax on ignorance. And that's the highest tax we pay in our lives. Because if we don't invest in ourselves and if we don't pay off the tax on ignorance, we will never reach our full potential. It will take us forever to figure out ourselves, all of those things. So I encourage you now, when you're watching this, to think what areas of your life are being held back because you have not paid off your tax on ignorance? What areas of your life and how your life could be improved if you actually start investing and learning more about the topics through the experts, through the people who have already done that thing? Just think about it. And I, I think that's something that I'm also thinking of myself, that I also want to surround myself more with people who have already started their businesses so that I can just learn from them. And sometimes could be buying a ticket to an event or a mastermind where you will meet like-minded people so that you can get that access and knowledge and speed because you pay for speed, that you don't need to figure out it by yourself. And also you don't need to repeat the same mistakes by yourself. And I think the biggest example where I saw it as well was when I started doing, I'm creating a course you probably already know, which is unlocking about unlocking your full potential. And I really wanted to create a course and I started creating it. And then I came across Tony and uh, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi's uh, course where they tell you in that course how to create your own course. And honestly, it was, let's say, five hours, six hour course, but it saved me so much time because I could just take the knowledge from them. I can take all the frameworks and blueprints and already knowing the things that do work and just implement it in my own course instead of figuring it all out by trial and error. So then I that was one of the first moments in my life when I realized that actually you can pay for speed from learning from someone who has already acquired that knowledge. And basically when you get a course or a mastermind, etc., you just basically, that person for you is bridging the gap from where you are now and where you'd like to go. And they're making sure that you go there way faster. And just the only caveat to this thought that I wanted to make sure that I include is that make sure that you learn from people who have done that very thing that you want to do. Don't learn from people who have never done that thing and are teaching you how to do it just based from theoretical knowledge. For example, I personally have never done a sale. Now, I have been learning a lot about sales through Dean Graciosi, Tony Robbins, Alex Hermosi, Tom Bilyeu. I've been reading some books on the topic, but I don't feel like I'm qualified to give anyone any sales advice because me, myself, I have never done a sale. So once I have done a sale, then I can teach someone and share my experience. But I think that's very important. You should only learn from people who have already done the thing that you want to do and not the people who just teach the theory. I hope this episode was very useful to you. I think this is just like such a practical and thought-provoking idea that the highest tax is tax on ignorance and not knowing things. And I hope you go and get whatever you truly desire, if it is starting your own company or getting the best shape of your life, whatever steps you want to take to become the best self you can possibly be. And we all start paying off our debts on ignorance. Love you so much. Thank you for watching this episode. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so that you never miss the episodes that I'm releasing one episode 
every day for the next 100 days. So the last 100 days of 2022. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.